Hello and welcome to the Key Stage 3 Mathematics Curriculum Information video. My name is Jodie McNaught and I am the Deputy Head of Mathematics. Kyle Lewis is our Head of Mathematics at GFS and Robert Markey is our other Deputy Head of Mathematics. Students are expected to have the following equipment for every maths lesson. They need two exercise books. One of these is for their daily uh, maths work. The other exercise book is for their mastery sheets. They need two pens and two pencils, a ruler, a glue stick, a scientific calculator, geometry set, and a device. It is required that they have their own equipment and they shouldn't be sharing with other students. In addition to the two exercise books that they need, we also recommend that they buy the following book to support in their class learning. So for year seven, it's the foundation level, Key Stage 3 Mathematics. And for years eight and nine, it's the Key Stage 3 Mathematics higher level. This is to support their continuous re revision, which they should be doing throughout the year. Home learning is set weekly for Key Stage 3, and it will be set on Dr. Frost Maths, which is a website all students have been given a login and pass password for this website and they've been given some time during the lesson to log on and have a go at using it. They will get 10 weekly questions. It is set on a Friday morning and is due the following Thursday. If there is a half term or a holiday, they may get additional time. But the general rule is set on Friday and due on Thursday. All these questions will be based on previous learning and not necessarily the work that they're doing currently in the class. The reason for this is that it should be a chance for them to revisit the learning that they've already done and support with their continuous revision. We soon will be moving from the Dr Frost Maths platform to Education Perfect. When this happens, students will be given their individual login and we will spend some time in lesson going through how to use this website. Here is a table of how the grading system works at GFS. Any student who's working at an S1 minus at the end of the academic year is on track to get a grade four at IGCSE. The grade four at IGCSE is equivalent to a pass. During their maths lessons, students will have the opportunity to develop their high performance learning skills. For example, they will be able to use their automaticity skills to realise what they've um, learnt previously. They will be able to check their meta thinking skills by having a go at a question independently. And then this will be gone through as a class to see how they got on and they will be able to develop their resilience skills through their hard working time, which will always be challenging for the students. Please see here the Year 7 Term 1 curriculum map. These curriculum maps can be found on the GFS website. Here is the Year 8 curriculum map, and it's important to know that all these topics learned in Key Stage 3 are present in the IGCSE exam that they take in year 11. This is different from other subjects whose um, topics only from year 10 and 11 are in the IGCSE. In mathematics, all of the content they learn in secondary school will be in the exam. And this is the year nine curriculum map. Some additional websites and further resources which we recommend you look at throughout the year. Corbett Maths has revision um, videos and exam style questions as does Maths Genie. Maths Made Easy has a lot of past papers with all the work solutions. Dr Frost Maths is the one that they're doing their home learning on so they'll be very familiar with this one and Maths Watch is a website that they use in year 10 and 11 um, as the school has a subscription for this, and they will be given a login for that once they reach year 10. Thank you so much for listening, and please, if you have any other questions, please do get in contact.